Hey guys, Cowbell here. So today I wanted to talk about the patch that's coming up from CCP called Bastions of War. What it specifically means for us level 4 mission runners is they buff the ever-living hell out of Marauders. Uh, I've been playing around with them on the test server, specifically the Kronos, and it is an absolute monster. There's one specific change uh, that, that really helps it out, and if you read through the patch, patch notes, the Bastion now increases the rate of fire for all large weapons 50%. Um, now this is only for large weapons. This doesn't include launchers. I did test this. I flew my golem. It does the same exact amount of damage. Now if you look at the Bastion module in the test server, it says that missile damage is down 50%, which I think is a graphical bug. It actually, there's no change. And I think when this patch goes live, it's going to be plus 50%. So I couldn't actually really show you that video. It's, it's kind of stupid that it, it does the same thing as it does on the regular server. So you could go watch my other videos, but let's uh, watch this video of the Kronos and you're going to see how absolutely devastating this new Kronos is. Uh, it's does a ton of DPS. It's sitting at 3000 DPS with short range ammo and it could hit out to about 30 with faction ammo. And then it starts to taper off right around 58 km out for the long range ammo. So it, it's good as a sniper mid range and for short range. I'm running smart bombs. This video was a test. I wasn't actually sure if it would work or not, but uh, it actually takes out frigates pretty well. That was the biggest downfall of the Kronos is you'd have to put a web or something on or rely on your drones. But drones take a lot of aggro, especially if you're in bastion mode. Uh, NPCs will swap between the, uh, you and the drones all the time, and it's just a constant annoying dance because of them swapping aggro. So Smart Bomb actually works in this case. Uh, it took out the two frigates, which are actually really tanky frigates for this mission. It took them out pretty easy. And this is a cap stable fit that I'm running. You'll see it in the link below if you want to go test it out. There's going to be some changes probably. Uh, I'll let you guys know if I change the fit at all. But uh, let's go ahead and watch the video. I'm sorry my microphone did cut out as I was recording. But if we want to compare some numbers, if I was running this in my normal uh, battleship, uh, let's see, if I was running this in a, I believe, a rattlesnake, it would usually take me, with my sniper fit, about 14 minutes. Uh, with my golem, took about 10 minutes. And with this Kronos right here, while I was recording and talking and thinking about other stuff and winding down from work, not even paying attention, uh, it only took me about seven minutes. So that's a pretty substantial difference. If you could half your time from 14 minutes to about seven minutes per mission. Also, another thing is I pulled all the groups in this entire mission, this pirate in invasion. So I had everything burning at me. I'm running just a single repper. Uh, nothing that crazy. This thing held up just fine. Now, the only other change I wanted to talk about was they did increase the Bastion module from 60 seconds to 90 seconds. This will interfere if you're going to be running a micro jump drive. Uh, the timing just kind of doesn't match up. I think CCP is going to change it, but again, we don't really know till they... they uh, they put out the patch notes and the, the only other thing that was in the patch notes about the marauder and the bastion module was the varger got instead of a five percent bonus it's a seven and a half percent bonus so all four marauders are going to be really really good we're looking at right around be between with average skills average to upper skills you're talking about uh 2800 damage to about 3000 damage uh, my Kronos was doing 3,000 damage. That was without implants or anything else, so you could boost your DPS that way. And uh, I've heard with Polarized, and I've seen screenshots, that these things can do 6,000 DPS. So there might actually be a way to fit these ships where you literally have barely any tank. You just plow right into the group. Uh, I'm using a micro warp drive on this fit. Now you cannot use the micro warp drive and the bastion at the same time. The bastion uh, puts you in place. You cannot move when it's on. So there's going to be a ways to play around with this fit. And I'm curious if anybody does come up with a really polarized fit. 6,000 DPS 
is is truly bonkers. You're talking just a uh, handful of seconds uh, to to kill battleships. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, there's also going to be a lot of changes with uh, PvP and how people are going to be using these, and it's going to be really, really exciting. So as I get more news on this patch, I will let you guys know if you have any questions, comments, or you want to see uh, different fits or different videos, uh, just go ahead and post down below. All right, you guys, fly safe. Bye-bye.